Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April, okay? So this could happen at any time in April, all right? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? A leg up. We are going to read that. Receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. You've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with you who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. Relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are there for them. This is the time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs, and to ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust, you will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind, though. Ask, and it is given. Now is the perfect time to seek advice from a mentor or business advisor who has been where you want to go to help you get there, too. To help you get there, too. If you do, you will receive very good counsel and that will aid in your prosperity it's interesting because the last reading i just did for the end of march said you're going to be connecting with somebody this is somebody of the same sex that can give you advice it may also be that the case that your endeavors have grown and you are in a position where you just can't do it all by yourself anymore time to bring on those who can give you a leg up Trust that help is available and it will indeed appear. Delegate authority to others so you can take steps towards your big dream. The perfect people will arrive at the perfect time so long as you step forward with just a mustard seed of faith. So you need to work together with somebody and maybe delegate some of that authority to somebody else. You Maybe you need to accept help. Okay? So what do we have for Pisces? There is somebody around that is going to help you if you ask. All you got to do is ask. What do we have for Pisces? Four of Coins. Now this is about stability. The Four of Coins is about stability, security, holding on. This probably has to do with money. Okay, this whole situation right now, or your home, or your foundation, or four is about foundations. Um, so this is about stability of some sort. This will make you more stable. This does have to do with your home. This has to do with your home or your financial stability. Um, That's probably what this is about. It's going to be focusing on your, your financial stability. Somebody, and maybe you have to, and maybe you're doing it all by yourself because you don't want to pay out the money. You may have to, you may have to pay out some money. That's hard, isn't it? Or, you know, when I mean, you delegate authority, you may have to pay more money. You know what I mean? You may have to. You know, give somebody a raise or something like that. But in the end, it brings you more money. This has to do with financial stability. You may be expanding, you know, maybe you're expanding, you know, to another location or something. Um, this is moving. So somebody, the Six of Swords is moving. There's a card behind it. Um, this is moving to a better place leaving something behind, 
you know, this is uh, a time of transition. It's a rite of passage. So it's it's time for you to go someplace else. Maybe you need to expand. It's interesting. I said expand before these came out. Two of coins. This is expansion as well. This is definitely about money. It's about profit and loss, but you will receive a profit. You need to be flexible. You need to adapt. This is stepping into new territory. Take that next step. Have faith and trust. This is taking a trip towards balance and harmony, heading in the right direction, leaving some choppy waters behind. You know, you have an opportunity to take a new approach. You do need to take a new approach. The moon, that's your card. So this is letting go of your fear. There's a yes, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead, but you know, that doesn't matter. You should do it anyway. This is hidden forces driving you, and this is driving you in a new direction. You are being driven in a new direction. But you need to face your fears. This moon card is about fears. You need to look a little bit deeper. You, there's fear of the unknown here. You are being called to go. This is go in a new direction. Expand. This is totally about expansion. Okay? Um, there could be some travel involved. You may be, you know, this is going to a different place. It's, it's far away. Okay? You may need to go to a different place. Um... All is not the same. So there's some hidden forces here that are driving you. This is a realignment. Two of coins is a realignment. They're trying to align you, but you need to be flexible. You may there, there may be a little bit of a loss, but there's also a gain because this is a profit and a loss. But there's always a profit that comes with it. Okay, you need you need to. Uh, well, it's a time of transition for you. But there's fear. There's fear of leaving something behind. Don't have any fear. Okay, you gotta let go of that fear. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, whatever it is. There's some sort of illusion here. You know, the moon is about illusion. Okay? All is not as it seems. The rule the moon is ruled by the shadow. So what you see is not what you get. What you know, fear holds you back. Some sort of fear is holding you back. There is somebody here that can help you succeed. And maybe it has to do with money. You know, you don't want to have to pay them or something like that. Or you don't want to lose any money. You will gain from this. You will gain by leaving something. Or maybe it's responsibilities. I feel like somebody is trying to do too much. I mean, this is trying to find balance, right? There's ups and downs. You need to... Um, no, this is juggling. You know, it's juggling money. It's ju juggling or, or balancing the books, you know. Maybe maybe you need to pay somebody to... Uh, I feel like you need to pay somebody to help you in a certain way, okay? And I think that's hard. I think it's hard to do. I think that you don't want to, you know. You need to be flexible. This could be a financial partnership. I feel like you have an opportunity to partner up with somebody, you know, and I think this is somebody of the same sex, okay? It could be a child. It could be a friend. It could be somebody that you worked with in the past. That's why that same sex came up at card at the end of the March reading, you know, and, and so I just want to reiterate this again because I get people that don't get it. All they hear is same sex and they say, I'm not bi. I'm not saying you're bisexual, okay? This is a friend or a family member or something that I think that you're going to partner up with. Okay, this is somebody that can help you to get to a better place because that's what the Six of Swords is. Financially. Okay, but you got to let go of your fears of losing money because in the end, it will be a profit. It may cost you for a minute, but the profit will be bigger in the end. You know what I'm saying? Queen of Coins Reverse. So you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that is not really helping you financially. Doesn't have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be anybody. This is somebody that doesn't really contribute. 
okay? This is somebody that, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who wastes resources, that is impractical, that is disorganized, maybe jealous, possessive, uh, mean-spirited, uh, neglectful. This person probably doesn't cook very well. I don't know. This, you know, the... This is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who's not really with it, okay? This is somebody that has a careless attitude. I feel like this person is hindering your financial growth. They're, they're hindering you. And maybe you're holding on to this person, and it doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be any sign. This is somebody who's not really contributing to uh, your situation and I feel like you need to not invest in them this this queen of pentacles in reverse you have to choose this is a choice this is a choice you know maybe you're dealing with somebody who you know is with, is with you just for your money maybe you have to move away from that person you know this is moving away from somebody who really doesn't have anything to offer okay this person isn't contributing to your Stability, put it that way. Maybe you have to make a, a difficult choice. You have to look a little bit deeper. You know, the moon card is look deeper. Don't look at the surface. It feels like you're dealing with somebody who is financially unstable. This person is obviously not very with it. And I think that you need to make a choice for your balance, for your harmony in your life. And it may require you moving away from this person, you know, so that you can be successful. I feel like there's somebody that is holding you down. They're holding you back. It's like a green-eyed monster, okay? That's what the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is. They, they, they want your money. I think there's somebody here that wants your money. Separation. Oh, boy. Two of Cups reverse. So, you know, I feel like you've got somebody here that is not compatible. I mean, the Two of Cups reverse is a separation. It's a loss. Could be arguing over money. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have anything to offer or they don't have anything, any money to give you or whatever. And it's causing problems. It's causing chaos. Two of Pentacles is chaos. And I think that you have to make a choice in regards to the partnership that you're in. You may need to make a better choice. You may need to move away from this partnership that is not stable, that is not solid, that is not secure. Because you you need somebody that is more aligned with your values. That two of pentacles is alignment. You know, and I think that you need, uh, there's some sort of illusion here. There's some sort of fantasy, not probably wanting to accept the truth. You really need to accept the truth of a situation of whoever it is that you're dealing with. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that really can't give you what you need to make you, to stabilize whatever this is that needs to stabilize. And I feel like you need to separate from this person. The two of cups reverse separation. Okay, there's disharmony in a partnership. There's not any equality. There's inequality, right? Now, you may, and this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be somebody that you work with now. It could be a current partner that you're with. There's a change that is needed. The Two of Pentacles is about change. It's a realignment. That is geometric powers higher than yourself that is trying to realign you with something that is more stable, that is more secure. But it will require you to walk away or separate or move away from whoever this person is that is not contributing to your financial stability. Okay, they're not contributing. And I feel like you know it. Your gut is talking to you. Your intuition knows it. But I think you're ignoring it. Because you notice that this is your card. You're looking away from the whole situation. It's like you're um, ignoring the whole situation. And all it's doing is keep... This is troubled. It's keeping you maybe in financial trouble. You know? I think that if you were to move away from this person, you would be... You would find peace. You would find harmony. You would find serenity. You would, you know find your stability again you know your stability would become would come back to you i think there would be a change in circumstances completely but there is somebody that is holding you back look at this 
Two, two, two. Twos are about faith and trust. Twos are also about partnerships, and they're about taking that next step. Okay, you you need to, and they're about balance. Okay, you need to, in choice. So twos are about partnerships. They're about balance. They're about choices that you make. You have to make a decision. You're at that crossroads. You're going to be at that crossroads right now where you're at that end of the road. You can choose. You can choose to stay where you're at, where it may be safe, but there's no financial gain. Or you can choose to go down that path that you are so afraid to go down that will require you to leave behind something. Leave behind whoever this person is. I do see you going in a new direction, though. You're definitely going to be presented with a choice, okay? There's a choice between two options here. Two, two, two. Twos are choices. This is about bringing balance to your life, bringing financial stability to your life, bringing excitement to your life. You have an opportunity to expand, to expand your life, to expand your business, to expand yourself. But the only way you're going to get there is if you choose to walk away from some sort of uh, unstable situation. I think that you're dealing with somebody that is very selfish. You know, maybe they owe you money, you know, and you need to just walk away from that person. Be like, you know what? Keep it. I just, I, I'm going to get my money someplace else, you know? Uh, two of Wands is a sudden decision, perhaps, but there's definitely fear of change. Um, you need to decide. Are you going to stay? Are you going to go? Do you want happiness? Do you want growth? Wands are about growth. There's an opportunity for you to expand and bring growth to your financial stability, but you're going to have to let go of something. You are, and it is a current partnership where there's no gain. You're not receiving anything from this partnership. So I think this month you're going to be making a choice. I think it's probably um, something that you have been delaying. You have been you know, procrastinating about. I feel like there's been re re restlessness and, um, you know, perhaps you've been detached while you've been thinking and about, you know, what you want to do. I think this month the decision is probably going to be made. Uh, hopefully that it's going to be made because that's, you deserve balance. You deserve profit. You don't deserve, you know, a loss. And I feel like you've been going through a loss with somebody that maybe um, is after your financial stability. And I think you do have financial stability. This person is holding you back, okay? They're holding you back for, 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 from success. They are. You have the whole world right here. The world is success. You have an You have an, This is expansion, okay? This is, this is an opportunity to expand, perhaps in a different part of the world, maybe even move to a different part of the world, because this is moving. It is. So, you know, you may want to move. It could be to another country even. Expansion could be global expansion, you know, or moving to another country. Maybe you, you have this fear of doing that, but you've always wanted to. Or moving to a different state or something like that. I think that you need to make a choice that is best for you. And if it requires separating from a partnership that is no longer compatible, then so be it. Okay? I do believe that you're going to be presented with an option to to go someplace where and I think it's it's someplace unknown territory it is and I think it's it's unclear you know it's it's scary it's it is scary um it may cost you some money um but you will gain from it in the end so I think this is a month of of change and I think it's big change twos are about change and they're about choices and they're about balance and they're about partnerships so there's going to be a, a change that is needed in regards to a partnership that will bring you balance, but it's going to be your choice. I do feel like there's a separation here with the two of cups reversed. And it could be out of your control because the two of pentacles is geometric powers larger than yourself. Okay? So this could be the universe. Okay, the universe may, there's, un, there's hidden forces here that may be changing your circumstances for the best. Okay, um, somebody could be leaving you, all right? Um, so anyway, there is going to be um, a change in a partnership this month. I think things happen suddenly too. I think it's sudden. I think it's a sudden change. 
somebody's leaving, whether it's you or your partner, and, it, and I don't know who it is, it, it could be a work partner, it could be a lover, it could be a friend, somebody is leaving. And that this departure opens up the possibilities for you. Good luck.